And today we're highlighting legacies made by African American baseball players. And Marty is live telling us more. Hello, Marty. Well, it's baseball season. Hello, Santa. Hello, Meg. Good morning, everyone. TGIF. It's baseball season. And if you're knowledgeable about Baltimore baseball, it's impossible not to know about the Negro Leagues of America, and particularly one team, the Baltimore Elite Giants. Not Elite, the Elite Giants. And we'll get to that in a second. Dr. Milbert Brown, Miss Elmira Thornton, and Ray Banks. Ray and I go back a long, long way. It's great seeing you again. Great seeing you. We're in the Baltimore County Public Library on Grand Central Avenue in Owings Mills. In this building is the library and also an auxiliary campus of CCBC. But in this building on four different floors is the history of the Negro Leagues, not only in Maryland, but of baseball itself. And thank you all very much for joining us. Now, what we're going to do after the break is Thornton and I are going to talk about ladies that played in the Negro Leagues. Did you know that? And then we'll talk with the guys next half hour because honestly, it's Good Friday. And you got to get to church, <laughs> yeah. and, you're, and you're doing TV with us, and we thank you. But coming up, we're gonna we're we're gonna maybe shock and amaze you with some baseball history you might not have known about. You see this guy right here? He's the reason Leon Day is in the Hall of Fame. Back to TV Hill. Thank you, Marty. And coming up next on WJZ at nine.